say that, that New Zealand is an excellent shout, yes. I think France, South Africa, excellent shouts. What is it, Lockie? It's happened before. Watch this be Adelaide. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. Now you say that. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine for the People. We are blind tasting three wines today. A fun, cheeky little bracket put together by our good friends out at Different Drop. These three wines are available on their website. If you want a cheeky little discount code, get into the Discord group below to be able to get a little bit of money off these wines and also have a bit of a chat with us. But enough from me, let's get into it. This is the correct wine that we do for this one. Um, so we're guessing the country. Interesting. Smells lifted, fresh, classically made. Overall, it's sort of that like straw, hay bale, gold sort of thing. First hay of spring. To be honest, I was actually surprised at how light bodied this wine is. I, I was expecting something a little bit more luscious and decadent with a bit more of that kind of creamy texture, but it's really lovely and pretty and it's salty, it's bright and acidic. My vibe on variety is indeed Chardonnay. I think it is incredibly lean, incredibly fresh. Doesn't have a lot of layers of complexity here. I don't think that's the intent of the wine. Personally, I would spend about high 20s, like 28 bucks, and I would buy three bottles. I think it's it's quite flat, which I actually don't mind sometimes out of a wine. Like sometimes I don't want it to do heaps. And this has got these really nice little sort of like pineapple-y, limey sort of little citrusy notes going on. A little bit acidic. Variety. I'm gonna go Riesling, just, just because. Just because it is, I think I've seen wines made in a style like this from this particular variety, but the acidity is quite tailored for the wine itself, so I'm not really sure. It could be kind of anything. I'll have a dozen. So does to start, Riesling, and I'll pay. Again, it's not doing heaps. It's just like a Wednesday night wine for me, so well, pay 34 bucks a bottle for it. 30, so far as the country goes, we'll get to that later on. <laughs> This is a gorgeous looking little red wine. Kind of nice, paler, ruby, nothing too deep. I can see right through it, but it's just that really opulent, like scarlet red. It's really, it's really awesome. It's got a dustiness to it. It's really quite dusty. Damn, that smells awesome. That's awesome. That's fantastic. It is something that I think Henry Doyle is going to love. I think all of us will love. Oh, it smells fantastic. It smells like, uh, it smells like red licorice to a certain degree. Like that really confected, bright red fruit. Yum, delicious. A little bit more savory than I was expecting it to be. Well, isn't that delicious? Crunchy, bright, fresh fruit. Great, like simple graphite tannins. Refreshing as all hell, nice light body. Really cool wine. It's got like kind of Grenache vibes. Got, it's got kind of like Gamay vibes. Look, I'm gonna hang my hat on Gamay on this one. I'm gonna say um, it is definitely a, could be Beaujolais. Maybe it's a bit of a red herring. You know, you're throwing a Chardonnay and like a Beaujolais. You can always already see it. I'm kind of thinking France already. It's really nice though. I really like it. It's another dozen. Again, this is like recency bias. I went to a Grenache tasting earlier this week. So I've just like got Grenache in my head, but I'll go Grenache. And that one, I'll pay slightly more. I'll have $40 for each bottle of that. Final wine. We're going deeper, darker red. I'd say this is definitely full bodied uh, if I've ever seen one, which I have. I reckon this has spent a fair bit of time in oak. This is almost in the same way that when you smell some whiskies, you get that really like woody, charry sort of thing. I'm gonna go Cab Franc. That's just my guardian thing. It's got that like, kind of like pepperiness, that spiciness, a structural thing. Um, and I reckon this is kind of from a weird South African producer. I think that's amazing Syrah. Right, it's giving me Rhone Valley vibes. In fact, all of this, I'm basically thinking hardcore. This is probably France would be the bracket. I'd spend 80 bucks and I'd buy 12. The first one, the one number two was like floral fruity with a little bit of savory. This is like thyme, oregano. It's, it, it's not super juicy. Like there's a, not heaps of fruit going on in there for me and the oak's coming through on the end. But again, I quite like it. I, like, it's a really cool example of it. All of these wines are really up my alley in terms of how aggressively they're leaning into the things that they're doing. Uh, for the second one, I'll go six bottles and 35. Uh, and this one, I'll probably go three bottles, but I expect it to be about 50 bucks. Um. This, this wine could really come from a handful of places. This could come from definitely France. It could definitely come from South Africa. I've seen examples in Cool Climate Australia. Could definitely come from New Zealand. Uh, that second wine, uh, the little carbonic little number that, I mean, is a dead ringer for, for Beaujolais. Although maybe it could be a small winemaker playing around with some fun stuff in Tasmania or New Zealand. So I'm gonna go France, but that's my, that's my guess. I don't know, well, this is one of those, 
brackets where I'm like, I can't really guess countries, but maybe I will. We'll see. Kind of like pepperiness, that spiciness, that structural thing. Um, and I reckon this is kind of from a weird South African producer. Uh, and that's my gut instinct here. I really like that wine. Um, but yeah, like pretty good solid array of wines, quite delicious, but also there is something I would love a little bit more of uh, from these wines, but uh, overall, very, very happy. And we are back and we have three wines. How'd y'all go? Uh, yeah. This was actually quite challenging, but yeah. What was the, what was the bracket we were doing was- Country. Uh, country yeah any stabs yeah so as you guys know i went to a mate's uh wine tasting this week which was sort of like grenache themed on the rhone valley mm -hmm. so i've obviously just got that stuck in my head and gone with france yeah okay yeah well i mean definitely could be i'm i'm sure i i went this i thought this was a new world country so i mean a lot of the varieties could come from france but yeah uh i went south africa Ooh. really interesting so in my tasting i was like all of these could either come from france south africa and I went with the third option that I've had in my head for like a particular reason. Patagonia. I went with New Zealand. Oh. Whoa. I okay. New Zealand, okay. And I'm yeah. like, if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be one of those three. So I have a feeling that this at least one New of them is, is right here. It's happened before. Watch these be out wow. there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Oh, now you say that, that New Zealand is an excellent shout. I, I think France, South Africa, excellent shouts. What is it, Lockie? Hey! Well done, man. Mm. That is brilliantly well played. Brilliantly well played. That feels good. What, was there a giveaway wine for you? Was there one that said, hey, this is what I reckon we're doing? If, if this is Pinotage, that was the one that gave it away. Oh, wow. Because there was, oh, like, it had all of this, like, freshness, like, that kind of really juicy thing, but there was this particular dusty, like, like really earthy, detracting thing. And it's like, that's kind of Pinotage. It's like, it's like the kid that smokes too much weed in good school. It's like, you've got so much potential, but you keep squandering it. <laughs> Pinotage has this like dusty now thing. You wear, just now you're wearing, wearing a that. women's cardigan on a wine tasting <laughs> YouTube. What happened to you? All right, so wine number one. Well done, Noah. Uh, well, done, Shannon, Noah. well done. It's, it's got to Shen, be Shannon. Shannon Blanc. Fuck. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I thought it was Riesling. I, I thought it was pretty good. I went uh, 28 bucks and three. Uh, six and 32. I don't want to spoil this, but these were straight dozens for me. It's more like yeah, custard apple is the thing for me, which is kind of hard to define because not many people have custard apple, but like it's got this like yeah. baked pie. That's mm. the thing that you'll see in Shannon more than Riesling. 32. Yeah. Noah's, Noah's on Noah's fire. Noah's on fire. Noah's so far, he's, he's like, <laughs> he's just nailing everyone. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to go up here. South African Shannon Blanc! <laughs> Keep I'm going, just gonna get the crown. the crown. He should have gotten it Dude, what the fuck? Done. Oh, mate. Well done. Oh, all good. over it, mate. All over South it. South African $32 Shannon Blancs painted how all this, over how it. How is this going? This is so good. Really, really good producer. Uh, I don't know anything about Milano. the two. Cliff Street? Cliff Street. Yeah, That's yeah. kind of so cool. So by Chris and Andre Milano in South Africa. Cracking example of, of Shannon. Mm. Really so good. Pristine, so pristine. I mean, pristine. cheap too. Yeah. South Africa typically offers exceptional, exceptional mm -hmm. value. So underrated in Australia. Let's right. see, let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's Line see up, keep that I crown on. This, this, this Pinotage call is bloody amazing. I thought this was Cab Mackey Gamay, but mm -hmm. more savory, which is basically Pinotage. Yeah. I think you could be on for a winner. I thought it was cracking. 32 bucks and 12. Uh, 35 and six. Uh, $40 for 12 and I thought it was Grenache. I definitely could be. Definitely could be. What, what did you say? 35. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got oh. one. Uh, I don't worry, we can't be perfect. Is it Pinotage? Is it Pinotage? Since so. Since so. I mean, it's not even I spelled, mean, look, it's look, not spelled right. C-I-N-S-A-U-T. I mean, it's half Pinotage. But it's missing the L. Since what? Since what? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's intentional. Can someone on the on the channel put in the comments below? Because I'm 99% confident Sinzo has an L in yeah, it. it does. Yeah, it does. Um, also, but if there's an alternate spelling, I'd love to know. Also, super into the warning labels that the South African yeah. wine industry Our has. Alcohol is addictive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, it is. They, it's gnarly. Like, all their, their wine bottles are, like, big on it. Well, it's um, better than the fucking pregnancy warning labels we have to slap on all of our boxes of gin, man. It's absolutely yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't yeah. know that you shouldn't be drinking a six-pack of gin? Yeah, anyway, that's, sorry. That's but I digress. Uh, regardless, yummy wine. I've been sort of like quite vocal about how I'm not a big fan of Sin, so I find it too savoury. But that's like gamo. Yeah, that's 100%. like that's confected and bright yeah. and fresh and fun. Is that's that... the Sin so I want to drink. Mm. Oh, it's, it's a... oh, it's got texture. Yeah, it's like nice. a... yeah, see if we can get some ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait what has to this hear show that. become? <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to hear that. 
Uh, subscribe to Ooh Wee Chef on Instagram. <laughs> 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 it's for food ASMR. Can we get some, we need to get some Ooh Wee t-shirts? Well, we're going to do the, the Ooh Wee Chef. Ooh Wee. <laughs> ooh Wee. Yeah. Uh, wine number three was a big Ooh Wee from me. Uh, that was, that's amazing Roan. Uh, that is amazing Syrah or Roan blend. Wait, I was, is Roan in France? Roan is in France, but that Roan sort of style blend. Yeah, and that's the thing the with like South African yeah. wines. Quite often, like if they out Roan the Roan, yeah. they are probably South African. I'm, I'm still taking this as a huge win because I was talking about how this reminded me of the Roan style tasting that we did during the I week. I you nailed it on this one. Um, I had 80 bucks and 12. I just thought this was all class. I had three for 50. I had 12 for 45. Oh! Oh! Bucks. oh. Roller. Let's out. Roller. Savage. Savage. <laughs> Dude, that looks like something that a fuckboy hoodie would have on. Oh, no, it's 100%. It looks like Johnny Depp's perfume. Yeah. <laughs> Sauvage. Sauvage. It, it is Syrah. It is Syrah. It's from, from South Africa. Um, Duncan Savage. 13.5%. That's, that's, I mean, amazing. That's a great wine. Dude, that is an excellent wine. What an amazing wine. I love the, the hyper minimalism of the packaging, too. Yeah, no, that's hot. I think this is a really, really cool wine. Um, and so, Yeah. It yeah. Ma- Seventy dollars, like it, it feels and looks like seventy dollars. Yeah, Definitely, that's really cool. Ooh, he chef. Um, three absolutely amazing South African wines. Yeah. Man, different drop are really serving up the bracket. Yeah, yeah. Cool, and, I, and I think it's also worth like South Africa again, as what you guys were talking about. But, oh, um, it's underrated. Um, as like unlooked at. I think have a look at these. Really people. enjoying the the crown on you is looking like Toad's head from Mario. <laughs> 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 so far back. Absolutely <laughs> cracking and best wine of the week. Oh man. I, I, think, I think we'd have to go the the Cinso. Um, probably comes across the best. I wanted a, a dozen of all of them, so I'm dozen. happy. Since how it is, best taste for the week's going to Noah. That's one of the most amazing <laughs> tastings. I yeah, you know that. Really well done. Done. Bow down in front of the king. Guys, we'll be here <laughs> until next week. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>